through the art style of Edward Manet. Puss in Boots There once lived a miller who had three sons at home. As the story begins, the miller dies and leaves his sons alone. The miller left everything to the first and the second son. The cat was all that was left for the youngest one. The youngest son was worried and said, What can I do? I don't have money or a house like the other two. The cat then said, Master, don't cry. I can help you out, and this is not a lie. Get me a cloth bag and a pair of boots, too. I will show you what I can do for you. The next morning, the cat got dressed up to go. He looked handsome in his boots as he walked real slow. He opened his bag that was filled with grain. He trapped two pheasants, simple and plain. The cat went straight to the palace to see the king. He had a very special gift that he wanted to bring. Your majesty, said the cat. I have brought you a present. It is something my master, the Marquis of Carabas, has sent. The cat presented the pheasants to the king. The king said, Your master has done a very kind thing. Every other day, the cat presented pheasants to the king. The king wanted to thank the Marquis for everything. One day, the cat heard that the king would pass by a lake. The cat had a clever plan he knew he could make. The cat said, Take off your clothes, which are so old. The boy did exactly as he was told. The cat ran to the king's carriage and said, <laughs> Your Majesty, my master is in trouble, I must say. Someone stole his clothes and just ran away. The king ordered his servants to bring new clothes to the boy. He invited him into his carriage. It was certainly a joy. The king's daughter was in the carriage beside the king. They stared at each other and didn't say a thing. The daughter fell in love with the young man. That was exactly the clever cat's plan. The cat ran ahead to tell the farmers some very important things. He would tell them about the carriage and the people it brings. The cat said to the farmers, Tell the king you work for the Marquis of Carabas. Tell the king this land belongs to the Marquis of Carabas. Tell the king the forests belong to the Marquis of Carabas. The wizard lived in a castle and owned the land behind. The cat visited the castle with a trick in mind. The wizard had changed himself into a lion, big and strong. The cat would think of a plan that couldn't go wrong. The cat told the wizard, my master has sent a gift for you. The wizard replied, That is very kind of your master to do. Can you turn yourself back into a man? 
I just wonder if you really can. Whoosh! Wow! That is really something. But I think you forgot how to turn yourself into a small mouse. For sure, you cannot. Whoosh! Wow! Said the cat. The moment that happened, the cat took the chance to eat up the mouse. The wizard was gone in a glance. The plan was working. Now the castle was free. He could now wait for the other three. As the king's carriage was passing, everyone waved their arms. They told the king that the Marquis owned the farms. When the carriage arrived to the wizard's castle gate, the cat greeted them and asked them to wait. The cat said, Welcome to the castle of the Marquis of Carabas. The king was so impressed. The castle had so much class. The king decided to make the boy his son-in-law. The boy married his daughter as they were in love, he saw. Puss in Boots, as the cat is now known, lives in the castle together with the Marquis of Carabas, as the boy is now known. <laughs>